make people aware of the dangerous food chemicals that are found in a lot of foods in your grocery store. It's more important than ever to inform people, to make more people aware of you know what's actually in their food. A lot of people might not have a computer. A lot of people might not be interested in health and nutrition, so they don't know. Okay. And so you got to be very sensitive when you talk to other people that don't know about all this stuff. And you have to be very kind and gentle and loving and understanding. Just think of it. Pretend that you're in their shoes and you've never heard any of this stuff before. And if you just tell everybody everything all at once, it's almost overwhelming. And it can make them feel like, oh, geez, you know, how come I've done this to myself my whole life? You know, so you got to be really understanding. And you got to be kind. Um, but you got to be very helpful too, and you got to recommend, you know, things that they can do to help improve their health. And not everybody's going to want to listen to you, but there are going to be some people that are interested, and those are the people that you really want to try to help. The other people, you know, they might not want to listen to you, and, you know, they might just shrug their shoulder off at you, and usually those people won't change, and, and you know, eat healthier until something really bad happens to them, which is very unfortunate. So the thing is, most people don't change until they get really, really sick. And then they're more or less forced to change, otherwise they'll die. You know, so one thing though that I want to stress is like, um, a lot of people will wait until they get sick and then change. but. What I want people to understand is that take steps now to prevent those things from occurring in the first place. That's being smart. Prevention is worth a thousand pounds of cure. Try to prevent the thing from happening in the first place. That way, it's not going to cost you a lot of money, and it's not going to be something that you really have to be concerned about with, because you're doing everything to prevent it, so you're never going to get it. And that makes a lot of sense. So prevention is where it's at, you know. But the other thing is, too, is try to get people motivated, inspire people. Be the shining example of health. Eat healthy, be healthy, you know, and so that you can be a good influence to other people. So yeah, you know, it's, it's really important to help other people and to be kind and polite when you're trying to help someone. You know, just don't go around saying, you know, you're so unhealthy because you're eating this, this, and this, and this. Because these people don't know what you're talking about. Okay, you got to be down to earth. you got to be at their level. And again, you know, a lot of times just be the example the people will come to you and they'll ask you questions like, you know, what are you doing, you know, this and that. And that's when you can really help help other people. But, uh, yeah, you know, don't be so, so focused on, you know, all, all these negative things happening in the world. Try to be more positive and um, realize that, you know, there are a lot of people that are aware of these things and that good things are happening. Even though bad things are happening, there's always good things too. And ever since the beginning of this world, there's been bad things and there's been good things. And we can dwell on the good things or the bad things. So, you know, um, just stay strong be encouraged, be motivated, and uh, help other people. Help your neighbor, you know?